welcome back to my channel. As you can see, it is a beautiful sunny day. It is springtime. It is warming up here in Georgia. Um, and I am so excited to start switching over to my spring fragrances. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could have made it even 10, but it's nine. Nine fragrances that I love wearing in spring. Um, these are not the only fragrances I have to wear for spring, but these are some of my in my opinion, most spring-like fragrances. They're happy, they're uplifting, they're florally, they're pretty, everything that spring is supposed to be. So I'm just gonna start going through them. So the first one I have is a beautiful fragrance. This is Trish McAvoy. This is her Sexy Nine Blackberry and Vanilla Musk. This is beautiful for spring because it's got this juicy blackberry in it um, and it's also it is musky and it's got the vanilla I would say that this is a blackberry fragrance with a hint of vanilla this reminds me of a Jo Malone fragrance if you guys like Jo Malone this one has um, better staying power this one in my opinion is definitely made better but this is kind of this reminds me of a sweet version of the Blackberry and Bay. Yeah. And this would actually mix really well with the Blackberry and Bay if you guys already have Blackberry and Bay. Um, but yeah, this is Trish McAvoy Sexy Nine Blackberry and Vanilla Musk. Um, it's a very fresh. It's definitely like a Jo Malone type fragrance. And sorry, it's a little bit hazy in here because it's so bright. Another one, and this has been a favorite of mine for years. Now, this works well in summer as well. So this is definitely a spring-summer scent. This is Orange on Floors, Orangers on Floors. I'm trying to get better about the way I say these. This is an orange blossom. And I will tell you my experience with this fragrance is you need it to have some heat with this. When you wear this in the heat, it just, it blossoms. This fragrance, um, and I say that with white florals. A lot of times you need to wear them in the, in the heat. Um, I will say that I've worn this in like cooler times and it doesn't smell as good. When I wear this when it's warm, oh my goodness, number one, it, it lasts a lot longer when it's warm. And it brings out a little bit more of the muskiness. It's like a little bit of orange, flower, orange blossom and muskiness, but this is gorgeous. This is made by Hubegat. Um, these are super like hoity-toity, pricey fragrances, but you can get this on FragranceNet. In fact, I think I just saw it the other day on FragranceNet. I can't remember the price. Another beautiful, beautiful, beautiful orange blossom uh, is Flor de Oranger. I'm trying to wipe off my condensation by Prada. This is their Infusions line. So this is, um, this is kind of a, let's see, it's got Neroli. Orange flower. Um, I'm not sure what I can't hear about. Tuberose and jasmine, sand, sandback jasmine. But this also has it's a little drier because it's got a little bit of that iris in it. All of the Prada infusion lines have kind of a base of this kind of powdery, dry powdery. This is gorgeous. This is a very underrated fragrance. I don't know why more people are not talking about this because it is just absolutely beautiful. It's soapy. It's a soapy, orangey, powdery, floral. Gorgeous. This is also available on fragrance now. Okay, another one that I love. Now this one I will wear into the summer as well, but this is just a classic and I, this is like such a happy, happy fragrance. This is Amazing Grace by Philosophy. A lot of you guys know this. A lot of people have this. This is this beautiful, soapy, but not totally soapy. Like their Pure Grace is like totally soapy. But Amazing Grace is this, it's just this magical fragrance. I don't know exactly how to describe it. It's like a pink, soapy fragrance. Um, this actually has decent longevity on me, even though it's a toilet or even a cologne. What is this? No, I think this is a toilet. Um, this is a 60 mil. This is gorgeous. I will. It, the minute it starts getting over 70 degrees or even over 65 degrees, I start wearing this and I'll wear it until it gets under 65 degrees back <laughs> in the fall. 
Um, another beautiful one, and I this is a new one for me, and I just absolutely love it. I've never owned it before. Um, I've had I have two Chanel fragrances. Chanel, and it's pronounced Chance, not Chance. I've been corrected in my comments, which is fine. I actually have learned a lot from you guys in the comments, so you know I don't get my feelings hurt when you guys say stuff like that. But somebody let me know that it's pronounced Chance, not Chance. So I appreciate that. So this is the original Chance Eau de Toilette. This is the, I think it has pineapple in it. This is very, very, very Chanel. Of all the Chance perfumes, this one smells the most classic Chanel to me. But it's not... The reason I love this is because it's a Chanel perfume, but that's wearable, that's like modern and that's what well, my husband loves this one. In fact, um, I was wearing this one day and I was holding my dog and petting her and loving on her or whatever. And then my husband had the dog later and was like, oh my gosh, Maggie smells so good. What is that perfume? Because he'll oftentimes smell my perfume on the dogs. He was like, what is that perfume? I love it. And it was, it was this one. So it's a beaut this is very, very uplifting. This literally is like spring in a bottle to me. It's just absolutely beautiful. And then of course I have one of my favorite, my probably my favorite Chanel is Otondra. This is obviously beautiful for spring. I mean, Otondra to me is year round. I have loads of friends that wear this in the winter and it is just as beautiful in the winter. You do not need heat for this. This this fragrance is all weather friendly, but I just like to wear it. I actually like to wear this fragrance all year round. Uh, this is the perfume. I also have the toilet. I just grabbed this one because it was closer, um, but I probably will start wearing the toilet in the spring. I save this for like fall, winter. So that's Otondra. This is one I never hear talked about. This is a floral and it's a red floral. I think it's like red lotus flower and red gardenia. <laughs> this is... This is actually Kim Kardashian KKW. So it's Kylie Jenner by KKW. So these are the Kylie ones. And this is, it's a red floral. And it's, this fragrance could have been named Happy. This is a very happy fragrance. Uplifting. It's just a straight up floral. Um, but it definitely smells like red gardenia. So this is really nice. I'm gonna wear this. This I think would be a little too heavy for summer. That's why I think this is a perfect spring fragrance. Okay, a classic, you guys. I love this fragrance. Um, this is definitely spring in a bottle. This is Cartier Baiser Volé. This is the original Eau de Parfum. I also have the Lis Rose, which is uh, basically Baiser, Baiser Volé with raspberry added. That though is summer in a bottle. This is spring in a bottle. This is like the entire lily of the valley flower. It's green. You can smell the earthy, the greenness, and the floral. This is a, um, an underrated fragrance. This is, think, think wedding shower, baby shower. Um, this is like a beautiful, feminine, uplifting, pretty, watery, light, floral fragrance. But this has longevity. It will stick. It will stick. So my favorite kind of fragrance is one that will stick. It's not super overpowering like some white florals can be. But it's just got this beautiful kind of scent cloud around you. I love that. I love that one. And then my last one. This has been a really short video. Which are the best kind. Um, this is gorgeous. I bought this at a consignment shop. Having no idea what this would smell like. I think this is a straight up white floral. This is called Mutiny by Mason Margella. And this is the same guy that does the replica lines. He does have other independent fragrances that are not in the replica line. And I feel like a lot of people don't know about them. Um, I don't know why this is called Mutiny because this definitely does not smell like anything weird or, I don't know. This is a beautiful straight up floral. And I think the main notes in here are like the classics, like tube rose, jasmine. This has got almost that though, like bubble gummy uh, tube rose. I've been shocked about this. I blind bought this. 
and it is really nice and this lasts a long time on me this is just a this is a very I mean I don't want to say generic because it's really not generic it's very nice it's very sophisticated but it's really just kind of a generic white floral but sometimes white florals are sharp and they almost have like the uh, like a plasticky smell it's this weird I don't know this does not have that this is a very soft white floral I have a hard time with um oh I should have brought out my flower head by Byredo but I don't have a full bottle but I I don't like sharp white florals I like soft airy um kind of breezy white florals that's what this is so this is beautiful mutiny it's weird it's got like the bottle's gorgeous I love this bottle um yeah flower head by Byredo is beautiful for spring as well gorgeous I don't have a full bottle I just have a decant but I did want to mention that one it is a very it's a white floral but it's a deep white floral it is a very interesting white floral so for anybody that um loves white florals that loves kind of collecting white florals or different white florals Byredo flower head is gorgeous um, so those are my spring fragrances. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys have a great spring. Let me know what y'all's favorite spring fragrances are. I love hearing from you guys. I love look, seeing the comments. I love watching other spring um, perfume videos. So hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later.